If you've been keeping an eye on robotics, especially humanoid robots, you probably know that Japan has been leading the charge in this field for years. But recently, a new breakthrough has taken the world by surprise. Japan's latest generation of incredibly lifelike female humanoid robots. These creations have left people in awe, not just because of their hyper-realistic appearance, but also due to the advanced technology driving them. In today's video, we'll dive into these next-level robots, see how they compare to past humanoid models from Japan, and explore why they're making headlines across the globe. Let's get started. Japan's journey in humanoid robotics. For decades, Japan has been a global leader in humanoid robotics, consistently pushing the boundaries of what machines can do. Unlike many other countries that focus purely on industrial or functional robots, Japan has been deeply invested in designing robots that interact naturally with humans. This passion for robotics is deeply embedded in Japanese culture, with robots playing roles in everything from entertainment to healthcare. One of Japan's earliest and most iconic humanoid robots was Asimo, created by Honda in 2000. At the time, Asimo was a marvel of engineering, capable of walking, running, and engaging with people on a basic level. However, despite its impressive mobility, Asimo had a clearly robotic appearance, with a mechanical design that made it look nothing like a real human. A significant step forward came with the development of the Geminoid series, hyper-realistic humanoid robots created by Osaka University in collaboration with Kokoro Company. These robots were designed to closely resemble actual humans, featuring lifelike facial expressions and movements. The Geminoid models have been used in various studies on human-robot interaction and represented a major leap toward creating robots that could visually pass for people. But those innovations were just the beginning. The latest humanoid robots emerging from Japan are on an entirely different level, setting new standards in realism and functionality. The new generation of realistic female humanoid robots. In recent years, Japan has introduced a new generation of humanoid robots that not only look human, but also exhibit advanced capabilities that make them more interactive and lifelike than ever before. These robots are truly on the cutting edge of technology. One of the standout names in this new wave of robots is Reply EQ2. Created by Takahashi Hiroshi and his team at Osaka University, Reply EQ2 is a humanoid robot that takes lifelike detail to the next level. This robot's skin is made from a flexible silicone material that mimics the texture and look of human skin, while its facial expressions, movements, and even blinking eyes are astonishingly realistic. What's even more impressive is that Reply EQ2 can mimic human speech and emotions with incredible accuracy, allowing it to interact with humans in a natural and engaging way. Erika is another major development in this field. Created by Hiroshi Ishiguro and his team at Osaka University, Erika is a female humanoid robot designed to interact with people in real-time conversations. Erika's facial features are incredibly realistic, and she can express a range of emotions, from happiness to surprise. Her appearance is so lifelike that it's often hard to tell whether she's a human or a robot. Erika has been used in various roles, including as a receptionist at events and conferences, and she even made headlines when she appeared as a newscaster on Japanese television. What sets Erika apart is her ability to hold conversations with real humans. She's equipped with advanced AI that allows her to respond intelligently to questions and follow along in discussions making her one of the most advanced humanoid robots in terms of communication and human interaction. The technology behind these realistic female humanoid robots. So, what makes these female humanoid robots so shockingly realistic? Let's break down the key technologies that power these creations. A advanced AI and machine learning. 
One of the biggest factors behind the realism of these robots is the advanced AI and machine learning algorithms they use. These AI systems allow the robots to understand and process human speech, gestures, and emotions. They can then respond in a way that feels natural and relatable. For example, the AI can detect the tone of someone's voice and adjust the robot's response accordingly, whether it's a friendly smile or a more serious expression. Over time, the AI learns from its interactions, becoming more adept at mimicking human behavior. B, lifelike skin and facial features. Another significant advancement is the creation of lifelike skin. The flexible silicone materials used in these robots help to replicate the texture and elasticity of human skin, making them feel almost real to the touch. The skin is also designed to respond to touch and pressure, which is crucial for creating a more authentic, human-like experience. In addition, the robots have sophisticated facial structures that allow for an incredible range of expressions. Each facial feature, from the eyes to the mouth, is designed to move and change in a way that mimics human facial muscles. C. Realistic movements and posture. Gone are the days of stiff mechanical robots. The latest humanoid robots are built with advanced actuators and motors that allow them to move with fluidity and grace. They can walk, sit, stand, and even express emotions through body language. This range of movement is essential for creating a more believable humanoid robot as it makes them appear more like real people rather than just advanced machines. D, voice synthesis and natural language processing. For a robot to be truly lifelike, it needs to communicate with people in a way that feels natural. The advanced voice synthesis systems used in these humanoid robots allow them to speak in human-like tones and cadences. Combined with natural language processing, these robots can understand and respond to complex conversations, making their interactions much more engaging. While we're still in the early stages, these robots offer a glimpse into a future where machines and humans work side by side. So what do you think about these humanoid robots? Are they the future of technology? Or are we getting too close to creating machines that feel too human? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out some of our other videos on the latest in robotics and AI. Stay curious and keep exploring the future.